A 9-acre lot is divided into 3 fourth acre lots. How many small lots will there be? If you struggle with this type of problem, sometimes it's easier to solve a simpler problem and then relate it to the given problem. What I mean by that is, let's say we had 8 acres, and we want to divide 8 acres into 2 acre lots. It's probably much easier to figure out that if we divide this in half, that would be 2 4 acre lots, and then divide this in half again, we'd have 4 2 acre lots. So mathematically what we're doing is we're taking the total of 8 acres and dividing it by the size of the smaller lots, in this case 2, giving us a total of 4 2 acre lots. So for this problem, if we want to know how many 3 fourth acre lots we can get from 9 acres, we'll take the total of 9 acres and divide it by 3 fourths of an acre. And this quotient will tell us how many smaller lots we can have. So to perform this division, so to perform this division, we'll write 9 as a fraction by writing 9 over 1. And then we're going to rewrite this division problem as a multiplication problem. Dividing by 3 fourths is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, which means we'll multiply by 4 thirds. So we'll have 9 over 1 times 4 thirds. And this multiplication problem simplifies, so let's go ahead and simplify first. We can rewrite 9 as 3 times 3. And the reason that's helpful is we can see that one factor of 3 is going to simplify out. Now we can multiply across the numerator. We have 3 times 4, that's 12. Our denominator is just 1. So we have 12 over 1, or just 12, which tells us that we have 12 smaller lots. So there are 12 3 fourths in 9. How many pieces of pipe 3 fifths of a foot long can be cut from a pipe that is 25 feet long? If we find this type of problem challenging to solve, sometimes it's a good idea to solve a simpler problem to devise a strategy. For example, if the pipe was 10 feet long, and we wanted to cut this pipe into two foot sections, how many sections or how many pieces would we have? Well, if we have 10 feet and we cut it into sections of two feet, It's much easier to see there would be a total of five pieces, each two feet long. But if we think how we could solve this mathematically to apply to the given problem, we would have 10 feet divided by two feet is equal to five. So it's actually a division problem. We take the total length and divide it by the length of the smaller sections. So let's go ahead and do that to the given problem. We want to know how many three-fifths of a foot sections there are in 25 feet. So we want to take 25 feet and divide it by three-fifths of a foot. And now there's a couple of things we need to do before we can solve this. Let's make 25 into a fraction. And then we normally write division problems involving fractions as multiplication problems. So instead of dividing by three-fifths, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal or multiply by 5 thirds. So this is equivalent to 25 over 1 times 5 over 3, or 5 thirds. So we have 25 times 5, that's 125. Our denominator is 1 times 3, which is equal to 3. Now we need to figure out how many pieces this represents. A fraction bar represents division, so now we'll take 125 and divide by 3. So there are four threes in 12. Four times three is 12. We subtract, bring down the five. And there's one three in five. We have a remainder of two. So 125 divided by three is equal to 41 with a remainder of two, or 41 and two thirds. So 125 thirds is equivalent to 41 and two thirds. But this problem asks for the number of pieces that we can get from this 25-foot pipe. So we can't count this fraction of a piece. So for this problem, our answer will be 41 pieces of pipe.